Then insert from, uh, image from file. Select the um, JPEG that I saved. And here it is. I'm now going to reduce its size. I'm going to right click, then just reduce its size. And I'm going to reduce it. And then I'm just going to move it over and place it right there. And then I'm going to save this and save it as co fi fi um, in port. I'm going to save that. Now I'm going to reflect this um, through the x-axis, through the y-axis, um, and then I might do that one more time. So I'm going to put in y equals 0 and x equals 0. I'm now going to um, select my object, so I'm going to click on Reflect. I'm going to select this object and I'm going to reflect it through there. As you can see, I'm then going to uh, select this object again. I'm going to reflect it this way. And then I'm going to reflect this object through this axis also. So select and reflect well I can I'll select my object and I'll select go this way and there I have my basic um, patterns I can um, now probably select that whole pattern and reflect it through the line y equals 5 and the y equals negative 5 and um, that would make a nice um, pattern. Of course we're going to use rotation and translations as well for our final objects so I'm just going to type in y equals no um, x equals negative 5 and I'm going to go x equals 5 and I'm going to now just minimize this a little bit first I'm going to zoom out just to fit it in um, and then I'm going to reflect that whole object so I'm going to highlight the whole lot like so I'm going to reflect it through that line and then I'm going to highlight this again and I'm going to reflect it through there so I have to highlight again for some reason so I've done that I'm going to go there here we are. And that's as far as I'm going to go with this tutorial. Um, I'm now going to actually just expand, zoom out, and um, pull it up so you can see the whole pattern. I could export this back into um, Photoshop again and just touch up get rid of those I am going to however get rid of these um, lines here um, 
and I actually don't think I need the dots either now. So there's my final pattern. I'm going to save this. I'm going to call it Curve 55 Final. Um, so I hope these videos help you